All was quiet downtown at the Gotham City Police Station, and Joker was sitting quietly in his prison cell. Hey there, officer! You there! Let me out of here! Come on, I've been really good! Okay, well maybe not that quietly. Hey, Joker! Pop down you, or I'm gonna send you to the brick! Uh-oh, uh, sir, there's an incoming transition on the radar. We got trouble. And they did have trouble because Harley Quinn came zooming in in a tow truck. She was gonna attempt to break Joker out of jail and she brought with her a tow cable. And she quickly swung it up to latch on to Joker's cell. Now once connected to Joker's cell, Harley Quinn floored it. But the jail cell door wouldn't budge. And to make matters worse for her, a policeman came up to arrest her. Ma'am, you're under an arrest for trying to escape a convicted felon. But all of a sudden, help arose. What in the world is that? It was Mr. Freeze with his freeze ray gun. He had come to help out Harley Quinn and Joker. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I best be getting out of here. Yo! But Mr. Freeze didn't let the police officer go. He crushed his bike and then froze him. Whoa! Whoa! And uh-oh, there the police officer laid frozen in solid ice. Now that the police officer was taken care of, Mr. Freeze turned towards the jail cell of Joker. But right before Mr. Freeze could get the shot off, Robin came to save him. It's me, Robin, here to save the day. Hiya! And down the Mr. Freeze mech went. Oh boy, I did something right. And now Harley Quinn, you're under an arrest. Now Harley Quinn being connected to the prison door couldn't move. Hey, stop right there, Harley. You're under an arrest. You're gonna be in the prison just like Joker. Now right as Robin was putting the handcuffs on Harley Quinn, Riddler came up from behind him and ah! knocked him down. Oh no, now Joker's gonna get out of the prison for sure! The Riddler climbed onto the second deck and then knocked the security guard down. And now he could free the Joker. All the Riddler had to do was pull on the door to open it. But it seemed to be stuck and a lot harder than it appeared. Meanwhile, on top of the roof flew in Batgirl! She'd come to save the day! Suddenly she threw a bad girl orang at the Riddler. Bullseye, it had hit the Riddler dead on. And it looks like Batgirl had saved the day. Uh-oh, not again. Something was coming, and quick. It was Killer Croc, and he was in a foul mood. Must say, Joker. Uh-oh, Killer Croc was a mean dude, and he attacked Batgirl. Killer Croc then grabbed the prison door and ripped it right off. Now, oh boy, I'm finally free! Yahoo! But unfortunately for Joker, as soon as he got free, his arch nemesis Batman showed up. Don't worry everyone, it's me, Batman, here to save the day! Now Batman went over to Mr. Freeze with his flamethrower and fired him up. <laughs> no more Mr. Freeze today, haha! <laughs> but that was unnecessary because he was already down. And then he went over to Harley Quinn and knocked her down. But that was unnecessary because she was already in handcuffs. And then he walked right past the officer who was frozen in ice. Meanwhile, Joker, seeing that Batman was getting everybody below, decided to quickly run out. Now Batman finally got to the second lair. Whoa, hey wait a minute, where did Joker go? I'll find him in a second. First, I'll take care of Killer Croc. And in getting the Killer Croc, he walked right on the Riddler, which was unnecessary because the Riddler was already down. All right, Killer Croc, it's down to you and me. Be prepared to see some awesome Batman moves. Hiya! Oh, that was easy. And Batman knocked Killer Croc down to the ground. 
da, 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 I am the greatest in the world. And wait a minute, Joker! But it was too late. Joker had already found his personal effects and was making his escape. Don't know, Joker! I'm gonna catch you! Me, <laughs> not today, Batman! Yee and it appeared that Joker got away. And meanwhile, Killer Croc also managed to escape. I'm out of here. Well, at least Batman did something. Oh, I did nothing. Everybody I fought managed to escape. Or, I guess, nothing. Oh, Batman. Hey, thanks for watching. The toy featured in this video is the brand new police station. 854 pieces for ages 6 to 12 or whenever. But this is awesome. Tons and tons of features of the playset. And you can see here, here's a couple of thieves trying to break out of gel. We've got helicopters, police cars, little gel cells. We've got tons and tons of stuff and we are going to build it. Check it all out. Now before we get started, check this out. We've got one booklet, two booklets, three booklets, that's to build the vehicles. Then we've got number four booklet to build one part of the police station, five booklet to build the middle part, and then the six booklet. So there are six books, which means it's gonna be an awesome fun time building it. So check it out. Here is the entire playset fully assembled. There are even more characters than I thought and even more cool features. So you can see that we've got all of these awesome little mini figures and they are stopping, these robbers are at least attempting to stop them from breaking out of the prison. Up top here, look at this, we've got the helicopter, and we've got this awesome little middle section, that's the prison area, and we've got this cool tower, so it's like a security tower, prison, police station, all in one. First, let's check out the minifigures in this set here. We first have this police woman. Looks very cool. Lots of detail on the vest and everything. The badge. A couple of pockets for maybe some mace and some other tools. Here's the walkie-talkie on the back. This is pretty cool. I think the hair comes off. So there we go. Is there two faces? Nope, just one face on this one. So this is our first police person. The next police person is this one. Let me get him off of the motorcycle. Here we go. Let's take the helmet off. And he's got, this is like the highway patrol guy here with his motorcycle and everything. Got these awesome shades. Looks like it's two different colors too. See how it's silver and black up there? You got the badge here, of course, as well. It says police on the back. So that is pretty cool. Check out his motorcycle in a second. The other one is the other motorcycle guy. And I don't know what happened to his little visor here, but he looks a little bit different. He's got one eyebrow like cocked and he's wearing the same outfit. I wonder if these are the same all together. Now hers is like a lighter blue. Let's compare it with this guy right here. Yeah, these look like they have the exact same outfits, just different. Uh, different heads. So let's get this one back on. Now there's actually another uh, policeman, so it's four policemen in total. And this is the guy right here. His police hat has fallen off. I really like the police hats. I think they're cool. They remind me of the, the little um, police station sets when I was a kid. Here we go, so he's got the police hat. Now his is probably the same as hers. Okay, so we have two like highway patrolmen and two people manning the police station. You can see he's got a little facial figures there. And then we have two, I'm gonna call them robbers, thieves or whatever, they're trying to break their compadre out of out of jail. So he's got the, the hat on, he's got a crowbar, you can release that uh, from his hand. You can see here, it's got the stripes on him, so a uh, poor choice of uh, clothing style because he already looks like he belongs in the prison. He's really gruff and everything. This is suggesting that people like me who have facial hair are criminals. Oh no! And then on the back he has got this money that he is uh, stealing. Stealing hundred dollar bills we've got here. This is a backpack that uh, you can take off as well. 
And then last but not least, we've got our other minifigure, our last minifigure right here. This guy, he looks, I, I love, it looks like he's got a mustache, like a French mustache or something, but he's got this uh, mask over his eyes. You can take off the little hat as well. He's got the stripes and everything, and I think he's the one who's gonna break everybody out of jail. And then of course, we've got a police dog. And this police dog is gonna make sure that the criminals stay in their jail cell. Now we've got a few of the vehicles. Right here we've got one of the motorcycles. These are awesome, way bigger than the motorcycles I remember having. I think this is like a whole frame uh, on this little, on this little, or this is a whole little shell on the frame right here. The tires, they are actual tires, they're rubbery and they stand up, not that well, but they do stand up, so that's a, that's a good thing. We got the red and green lights, they can be flashing. You can stand one of the, the guys in here like this, and then once you put his hands in, his hands can click into place, and now he can ride off. Our next police motorcycle, this thing is awesome as well. I really like this, there are the blue flashing lights here. They don't actually flash. I'm thinking that something should go right there, but it does say police. We've got the same type of shell. We've got two sets of handcuffs, an antenna that should go up. Again, this says police right there. Police on this side. We can take our other policeman, or our highway patrolman, and have him hold onto the handlebars, and he can drive off. Now we've got our police car coming in here. This is like a, a, a police coupe or something. Look at this. We got police all over that says 01, which means there's probably a lot more vehicles out there. JM60047. Here are the lights. This is a pretty cool police car. Now I know with a lot of police cars, nope, these doors, there are no doors here. Car, they used to make the, the little small doors where you could open them up and everything. And we can actually, oh look at this. Inside there is a lot of stuff. Let me see if I can get it out of here really quick. Okay, so we've got some handcuffs, we've got a walkie-talkie, and there are a couple um, like ball and chains that we're gonna show when we attach them to the prisoners. And I think we can place somebody inside here. So let's take this policeman, let's get him inside, and place this window back on, and the roof, and he is ready to ride off, but oh no, you forgot a lot of things. Now this is cool, this is the thief's vehicle. It's like a tow truck. So we've got the uh, four tires right here, they're rubbery, this rolls back nice and well. There's not much detail on here, or really much to talk about. There's the front lights and everything, these headlights. Here we have another thief in here. So this is actually a third robber that uh, there are, so there are four policemen and three robbers, so this is pretty cool. Let me uh, put his hat on right, there we go, a little bit better. And he apparently is gonna be the one driving the truck, looks like he's wearing these black gloves. So I'm gonna place him back inside and place this, uh, the roof over it. Now the coolest feature is this right here, look at this, being a tow truck, so you can lift this up here, and it's a huge chain, and there is kind of like a uh, three-way hook, uh, like a harpoon on the end of it, and this is to break their friend out of jail. All right, the last vehicle is a police helicopter. I've always loved the helicopters. They've been making these for a long time. And actually police station stuff for a long time. I wonder how many different police stations LEGO has made throughout the years. So of course it has the, uh, the propeller that can, that can spin here. These are the, the blades and everything. Here's the feet. We've got police on as well. What's cool is you can open this. We've got this joystick inside. It just moves back and forth. It also has a really cool police light on the bottom. So that's fun. And then on the inside, here's like a door. This is like a one person police station. Oh, they've got a megaphone. What do we have here? We've got a megaphone and some more handcuffs. So a lot of things in here. Let's see if there's more in the other side. Yep, more handcuffs. It looks like a, a camera as well, so they can take pictures. And then also the, the rear blades spin as well. An awesome helicopter. 
Let's get one of the, the policemen inside. And he can fly it around, you just have to sit him down. And this guy's hat keeps falling off. And there we go, and then he can take off. Now let's check out the police station. I'm super excited about this. We're gonna start, this is the left hand side or the right, whatever you wanna say, it's one of the sides. We've got this awesome garage door here and you can see this is pieces. So this is like a sectioned garage door but you can see me lifting it up and down. It is on a track. And this is cool because we can have the police car go inside here and then we can close the garage door so I can grab it again and close it down. And now we've got the, the police car inside or we can put the motorcycles inside and stuff. Over here we've got an awesome garbage can, you got a broom, a, a shovel, so just a lot of little features. Now off to the side, we've got entrance. This almost looks like garage entrance. Here's the door, it says police right there, police all around. I'm gonna spin this around so we can see the, the back end of this. So enter through here, and then this is where the garage is gonna be. Now we have the bottom middle of the police station. This is cool, it's almost like entering or exiting a parking garage. Got this little gate with the handle right here so we can lift it up, have it closed as you can see here. This is where somebody is gonna be manning the booth, making sure that everything's fine, nobody's trying to break in or out of their police station, but we can place somebody right behind this glass. Here we have the red and green lights. So again, if we open up the gate, the police car, once I get the roof on, the police car can go right through and maybe in or out of the parking garage and then we can close it up. Let me spin this around. We're gonna check out the backhand side of this. You can see this is where somebody can stand. And then when they need to exit, just go like this, open up the gate on the front side, and then they can exit out of here. Now this side I think is the most detailed side of, of, as well. We've got two doors, one right here, and then one right here that anybody can enter. We've almost got like a little plaza so that so that uh, anybody can walk through from the garage into here. If you check out right here, there is a little little street light. It's actually a really, really tall street light, but it is a lot of fun. Now check out this side right here. And I am gonna just spin this around. So here is like a little coffee maker. Here, I'll spin this all around. This is like the, the waiting room or whatever. So you can see in there, here's a computer, here's a desk, this is probably where the secretary is gonna sit. Here are the entrance doors, and then here's people who can sit down and wait for whatever on the bottom layer. But it's really, really cool. So this is the probably the public section of the police station. Now on the second level, this is right above the waiting room. This is an awesome place. This is where I think they're gonna take the criminals' pictures. So you can see here we've got like a computer and a chair, and then there is a camera. And you see back there, see those lines? That's like how tall they are and stuff. So we get a little criminal and place him right there. It's kind of tough to reach in there. Oh no, now our camera has fallen over. Oh, let's get our camera back up. There we go. Now we can take his picture and it looks like this guy's about five feet, a little over five feet tall, so a pretty short criminal. Now on this side, we've got one of the, the guides for like when the helicopter comes in. We've got a coffee cup. We've got some handcuffs. We've got a little walkie-talkie. And then look at over here, this is a water cooler. Super fun. Now in this section here, it's pretty cool. We've got the sink and a bed. This is one of the gel cells. What I think is interesting, you see here we've got a toilet, right? But this is what they put in here. So if you pull this out, it's like a trapdoor toilet. Which I think is interesting. Are you gonna have a robber on here, just or not a robber, but a prisoner on here sitting there, and then you pull this out from under them and then they fall off? That is interesting. Now the same exact setup is right here as well on the third level. We've got the sink, we've got a bed, and we've got a toilet. Again, let me let me pull this up. See, here's the toilet, but you can pull it and it is a, uh, a drop away trap door. Now on this side is really cool. So this is like the watchtower area. And then I'm gonna spin this around. because so I want you to see there's all sorts of things in there. There's like a saw blade, 
uh, which I think is so interesting. You can actually enter this. There's a door over here. You can enter this and get in here. So there's the watchtower and then up above. Okay, so you can see a huge megaphone. I really like how they mix like the police station with the prison as well. Here we have a satellite dish spinning around, getting signals and everything. So this is a place that I guess somebody can stand in. And then I really like this area up top here. This is a spinning chair. And they're gonna have, of course, their, their coffee cup or maybe hot chocolate. Here's a digital board there. We got lights all around here that they can move up and down. And on this side, we have this really cool walkway. It's like a ladder walkway, but any of the policemen, so the prisoners are gonna be maybe in here. There's one jail cell, there's another up top. So they can walk along here, act as prison guards, and make sure that the prisoners are behaving themselves. And then up top here, on this side, we've got this, uh, looks like a little alarm or something. You see this H? This is where the helicopter is supposed to land. So if we get our helicopter here, it can land right like that. And that is perfect for our, uh, our helicopter and uh, then they can stop spinning. And then on the last portion, so you can see the jail cells right up here at the very, very top. It's really cool, we have a police sign, and we also have this little tower right here to, to make sure that nobody flies into it. And we have these awesome floodlights again. These can turn back and forth and make sure the prisoners are staying in their cells. Another cool feature is up top here is this little uh, breakaway. It looks like a trapdoor, but this is a place where, where maybe the thieves can come inside and break out their friends. So watch, they go, they open this up, this little hatchway, and then they can jump inside into this cell down there and get their friend out. And then of course, the coolest thing is these doors here. So these are breakaway, these are, they make them so that they can be broken off. So watch this, we can take our little tow truck here and we can hook it onto there and then all that they have to do let's get the hook in here now all that they have to do is drive and once they drive this thing will break away watch this okay driving driving and let's see let's break it open oh man and now once this is broken open all of their friends can run out here, jump down onto the truck and drive away and they're free. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Toys Review Toys channel. Let me know in the comments if you like police station Legos or fireman Legos or maybe ambulance and hospital Legos more. And then tap or click on a picture to watch another fun video. Have a great day.